Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how we can calculate the soil loss using the revised universal soil loss equation that is Rusley into the Google Earth Engine environment. So let's begin. So Rusley is a, a modified version of uh, Usley that is universal soil loss equation through which we can estimate the amount of soil loss in ton per hectare per year of any area using some geospatial inputs and the geospatial inputs that we require are like soil data set the soil texture map uh, the rainfall data set for annual uh, average rainfall then uh, we need a digital elevation model in order to calculate the slope map and the flow accumulation map and uh, we need some kind kind of satellite data set either uh, length set or sentinel etc to estimate the land use or ndvi images then uh, using this all other geospatial uh, satellite based data set we will be able to calculate the k factor r factor ls factor p factor and uh, c factor map and by multiplying all of these factor map we can generate the soil loss map and we can classify the soil loss map into different categories like severe soil loss or um, moderate soil loss so these are the maps that can be generated and by utilizing uh, the multiplication uh, factor we can actually create the uh, Rusley map so in this particular task you will be required lots of data sets uh, uh, are required and lots of calculation computation is required so sometimes it may not be possible for a texture based computer or texture based software to accommodate so much of processing in a very easier manner so that's why we are incorporating the use of google earth engine because the google earth engine has all the data sets into the open source uh, domain and we have to just write the script once and when the script has been written then you can calculate the soil loss for any part of the world for any part and for any uh, time zone so let's begin So this is our script. Uh, you can find the link of the script in the description below. So you just need to open this uh, link, uh, the script, and everything will be remain as it is. You just need to change the dates and the uh, input feature collection or the shape file. So in this particular script, we are using five data sets. For rainfall, we are using Chirp's data set. You can convert this data set into like a GPM or TRMM data. Then for soil texture, we are using open land map series. For digital elevation model, we are using SRTM. And for NDVI calculation, we are using Sentinel-2 data set. And for land use land cover classification, we are using MODIS data set. You can always uh, classify your own image either by using Sentinel-2 or land set. So after incorporating all of these data set, you just need to provide your own basin boundary or administration boundary, which you are you uh, uh, want to calculate the uh, soil loss. So uh, uh, presently, I'm using the hydro shed um, watershed boundaries of throughout the world, and uh, in this particular uh, data set. Uh, whole of the world are classified into very small subcatchment up to the level 12 and I have written some of these simple uh, main ID uh, for some uh, basins like in India for example for Mahi Basin uh, in this particular data set there is a uh, in the attribute there is a column main ID and for Mahi Basin this is the main ID and if you need to calculate the soil loss for your own data set you can always use your uh, upload your shape file into the assets and can always export and use as the uh, data set always so after that providing the uh, sh uh, input shape file uh, we are des describing the dates for an example uh, uh, in this particular equation that is Rusley, we are able to estimate the soil loss for throughout the year so we are using the data set from 2017 and after that uh, we are able to calculate the r factor using this uh, rainfall data set then k factor using the uh, soil uh, texture data set and we have classified the soil texture into different categories according to the equation you can find the different uh, new words in different type of literature you can adopt any of this and you can change accordingly then we are able to calculate the ls factor the formula for ls factor there are varieties of LS factor formula you can find in the literatures. You can modify according to your own area or domain. 
then uh, we are using the C, uh, NDVI to calculate the C factor and in order to calculate the NDVI we are using the Sentinel-2 data set and afterward we are calculating the P factor and for the P factor we are actually accumulating LULC for modest data set and uh, slope from the SRT MDM and we have categorized all of these things to give the some numerical value to the p factor and after creating all of these factors we are actually creating the uh, soil loss by multiplying multiplying each and every maps and we are creating uh, after estimating the soil loss we are dividing this soil loss map into different categories for an example soil loss uh, which has having a value of less than five then it will be classified as one and for soil loss which has have given uh, greater than the value of 40 we are classified as a five so you can change according to your own area and afterward we are uh, not only calculating the soil loss for the whole sub uh, basin but for the sub catchment also by using the hydro sheds data set and we are calculating this for uh, each and entire area so uh, let hit just uh, run button and see what the result will going to look like it may take some amount of time depending on your area and depending on your internet speed so as we can see the image has been generated so this is the sub catchment uh, you can see this is the mahi basin and if you zoom into the area so these are the sub catchment of the mahi basin and there are total sub uh, there are total number of 265 sub basins in this particular area and um, as you can see the map has already been generated and if you go to the layers if you go to the layer you can find uh, many of the uh, different type of map for example you can find the k factor map slope ls factor ndvic and finally the soil loss classification map and in this figure you can see that this is a soil loss classification map and a legend has also been prepared according to the classification that I've told you that the red here the red zone are uh, experiencing severe soil loss that means greater than 40 ton per hectare per year and you can export this map and save according to your own utilization and when we see the console panel so as I told you that there are total number of 265 basins and the mean the average soil loss of whole area is 12.12 per hectare per year and if you want to estimate if you want to identify the soil loss for each sub basins you can uh, go to this feature collection and each and every feature if you go to the properties of any of the feature you can find there is a column name mean and which denotes the mean uh, the average annual soil loss of that particular sub basin uh, in this script we are also trying to export this feature collection into a csv format or you can try to export this feature collection into shape file also and finally we have generated a a pie chart which are denoting that how much amount of area is experiencing uh, like see moderate soil loss high soil loss and the severe soil loss so uh, use uh, by visualizing this pie chart we can say that in the mahi basin 32.5 percent of area are experiencing very slight amount of soil loss whereas uh, 7.7 percent of area is experiencing very high amount of soil loss and in order to export the data set into the csv format if you go to the task button so it is uh, showing that class area by sub basins you can click run and wait for some time so it is will going to ask you the folder and everything you just click uh, need to click run so you can change the folder into your google drive you can change the folder into the google drive for example presently we are exporting into a folder named earth engine you can change according to your own use and let's wait to export this file now we can see that uh, our CSV file has been successfully uploaded into the Google Drive. It approximately takes 14 minutes. If the area is bigger, it may it might take more than time. So if you go to the Google Drive in that particular Earth Engine folder, we can see this a uh, class area by subbasin.csv is generated. And in this case, we can see that these are the different uh, subbasins ID. Uh, 
from the hydrosha data set and these are these separate classes like class number one two three four five and this is the total amount of area uh, which are actually coming in those particular watershed and you can download this data set and you can utilize for your own purpose so that's it for the day hope you enjoy uh, find this tutorial very informative if so then please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you